I see what old chaps and chap heads game chap and birdie here. Yes. Yes, indeed, fellows. And I do see now we are discussing here the most recent community tier list for Super Smash Brothers on Wii U. I dare say, of course, this is always a very popular subject because people want to know how their favourite character is getting on in the eyes of the Smash Brothers community. Most certainly, we find it very interesting reporting on these tier lists and how they've changed, etc. And I'm so sure all you fans out there will love to hear what's going on here. Well, indeed. Now, of course, as always, when we're talking about tier list videos, bear in mind we are currently at a very early stage of the game. All this is presently up for debate and very much in motion. We are just reporting on the latest standings as they are at this point in time. And, of course, we may see a lot more evolving and changes to the metagame as time progresses and people become more and more experienced with Super Smash Brothers. Well, yes, indeed, we may indeed see that. But, of course, at the moment, as we stand, this is what the community think based on what they've been playing and what they've been doing. Precisely, yes, indeed. Certainly. Now, I think it'll be, we should start off here at the bottom and say, firstly, oh, yes. which characters are considered the worst in Super Smash Bros. Well, most certainly, yes, we should start there. So, right down there at the bottom, right just down there, right at the bottom in the 40s. We'll call these, um, charitably, the low-tier heroes. The low-tier heroes, yes. Now, perhaps you play them and think, well, I, I do quite well with them. Well, you'll just have to post what you think. Now, who's but, at the bottom of the, this barrel, old chap? Well, the bottom of the barrel, uh, almost underneath, the barrel, as it were, is quite appropriately, believe it or not, Don Donkey Kong himself. No, not Donkey Kong, surely. Well, yeah, they're putting Donkey Kong down there and just propping him up is Olimar and Charizard down there. Charizard, I think. Yes. So, of course, yes, indeed, the bottom three there, it was DK, Olimar, and Charizard. Now, I do think Olimar, does, he does belong down there, unfortunately. Uh, right. You see, his Pikmin base attacks are rather too technical, a bit tough to carry out, short range on them sometimes. The Pikmin have bad tracking on Olimar. It has been noted, he's not generally a very powerful character on kill moves either. No, indeed. Rather tricky and technical and tough to learn. Certainly, though, if a good Olimar does emerge and start showing people how to dominate with him, he may see a rise um, in, in ranking later on. And also, of course, invisibly, I should also say this, um, the chaps that make Super Smash Bros. could at any time release a patch, which may well change some of the situation we're seeing here. Well, that's but possible, yes. Again, indeed. though, yes, Donkey Kong right at the bottom there. It seems the chap just doesn't have it this time. Indeed. He never was very good in Brawl, and unfortunately, this game hasn't been kind to him either. No, indeed. Now, what I find rather interesting and strange that they sh he should be in the 40s is Ganondorf with such power. Could it be that it's because he's slower? Well, indeed, we have Ganondorf in at number 44. His uh, brothers and sisters, meanwhile, are King DD at number 43 and the Wii Fit Trainer at number 45. Now, Ganon the Manon, of course, packs an awful lot of power. Yes. He's very, very strong. Yeah. The only snag being he's very slow and he lacks a projectile. This makes him very hard to use on the flat stage of the Four Glory mode and means that uh, Spammers and Cambers can basically have a field day with him. You really have to know how to use him. Yes, most certainly. Now, a rather tricky character, Mr. Game and Watch, for example, well, I thought he'd be higher up, but he's not. He's at the right, he's at the higher 30s. You know, he's in 39, I think, or something 39. like that. 39, that's right. He, of so, course, was nerfed from Super Smash Bros. for all various of his, uh, his attack moves have, of course, been reduced in power, but he still possesses that ever dangerous number 9 judgment hammer, a random attack, so he does have that in his favour. Also, we have another chap here who has had a massive fall from grace since the start of the Super Smash Bros. 4 game, yes. and that is Bowser in at number 42. Now, what on earth is he doing down there? Well, he's... Bowser's taken a huge hit. That's right, um, he was top ten before. Uh, was he really? Yes. My goodness me, he's taken an almighty degrading. Now, we don't know why at the moment. Now, could this perhaps be to do something with the updates? I think so. They brought out, which we mentioned in a previous video, little tweaks and little fiddlings that they've done uh, yes. to the game. Well, certainly Bowser did lose his Bowser side move. Gandalf, of course, still has Gandalf's side, but he's still rated lower than, than Bowser in any case. But uh, Bowser there, yes, he lost his Bowser side, meaning if you try to self-destruct with someone in your grasp on the last stock of Four Glory, you'll actually lose the match if playing as Bowser, yes. but not with Ganondorf. So yes. perhaps that's contributed towards his fall, but I don't think the removal of Bowser's side alone is enough to put him in number 42, old chap. Well, no, it seems to be very strange that he's down there. It could or must, should I say, be perhaps because of what you said, he's Nerfs. lost that particular move. Uh, yes. But that has to be something to do with it. Nerfs, but I otherwise, think. could be, could be, yes, it could be the little nerfs they bought in with these little updates uh, that's just added. So that's right. It could that's be right. that. Now, in yes. number 40 and 41, we see a couple of characters here. Uh, we see Wario in at spot 40, and yes, of yes. course Zelda at 41. Now, this is interesting. Zelda, I think, has always been fairly low tier in Super Smash Bros., so no doubt her fans were disappointed, but that's not too surprising to see her down there. But Wario has a very strong and powerful attack in the form of his rapid respawning bike, which uh, some Wario's online use all the time, over and over again, constantly biking, which makes them something of a threat, if you ask me. Well, 
Well, yes, indeed. But obviously, it's not enough for pe- you know, the players that are using Wario are obviously not using him very well, well, or just can't get on with him, or whatever. Yes. But nevertheless, he's down there. So who else do we have here? Well, you see, now moving into the thirties, there we've got such characters as at the, low, at the you know the higher thirties or in lower, whichever way you want around to look at it. We've got Kirby and Pac-Man there, right at the top tier, or 38, 39s. 38 and thirty-seven, actually. Thirty-eight, thirty-seven. At yes, the lowest indeed. part of the thirties, I think you mean. Yes, we have Kirby and Pac-Man now. Of course, yes. Pac-Man had a bit of a nerf recently, but uh, he's, I mean, he's not too bad as a character. He does have various tricky moves, but again, he lacks direct killing power. He has to rely on setting people up with his fire hydrant, with his side B, etc. and so forth. Kirby, meanwhile, has seen more nerfs, meaning to, to not only to his, uh, his final cutter attack, which now has a shorter range, but also his inhale has been nerfed. It now has less priority, for example, so that's him. Then, indeed, above those two, at number 36, we see Meta Knight. Meta Knight, yes, indeed. Now, Meta Knight, of course, used to be the champ of Brawl, but he's no yes. longer the champ here, you know. No, it doesn't look like he is. He's it... received many nerfs, making him much less of a threat now. He has indeed, and of course, just above him there, Bowser Jr. has taken a bit of a hit as well. Well. He was somewhat higher up than this, as I remember last time. I'm sure he was, yes. Yes, he was. And of course, one that surprises me a bit as well is Dr. Mario. He's got some interesting moves, Dr. Mario, but hmm. still put right down there. Now, it could be that you know, just players aren't used to him, or they can't get on with them, or perhaps not many are using him. Well, but it seems strange that he's down there in the 30s. It's an interesting one. He's always been fairly low tier, Dr. Mario, in this game, as far as we uh, we can see. But indeed, I just don't know whether he's justified to be that much higher than Gandalf. He's got that projectile, it's true. He has various useful attacks. He has the up B combo, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, up A combo he can perform. But then again, he does lack in the area of recovery. He's yes. quite slow, much slower than regular Mario. Yes. And of course, you have to, there's a certain neck to Dr. Mario, I think. Yes. You have to know what you're doing with him. So well, perhaps yes. that's the reason for it. Although his smash attacks are very powerful killing moves. Most certainly, yes, and I, I still can't understand why Ganondorf is so low. It's an interesting point. Well, he is. So just moving up to the uh, the higher 30s there, or, you know... The, yes, that's right. The, the 31s, the 32s there. We've got Luigi in there, of course, and, of course, our old friend the Villager. Right. And we did a little spotlight on the Villager, didn't we? Not too far back. We did. And uh, he's, he's in there at 33, so, you know, obviously they don't think much of his tree at 33. Well, that's right. Villager, of course, again, he's another tricky character to use, actually. He yeah. has very short range on his smashes and his aerial game is very important so uh, quite a tricky character to master there but some people have had success with him yes. uh, just above him there is Luigi at 32 who's seen a bit of a boost with recent updates enabling him to f- perform more aerial attacks and rather more rapidly in the air yes. and uh, above him again there is Falco the poor chap in at 31 yes. after his glorious showing in Brawl he was <laughs> hit with the nerf stick it seems he was it seems to be the case and then right in there just hang in between the th- 20s and the 30s there I'm surprised to see this character here and perhaps you chaps and chapets out there are as well and that is of course Samus now I think Samus is quite a good character with some good attributes actually yes you know, Samus can be surprisingly deadly in the right hands she's yes. very tricky with those aerial combos the, the, those grab chains her missiles her charge shots she has a lot going for her but it seems yes I, I think it once again comes down to her killing move old chap it's yes. just not that strong well it could be that and just I just do need to just go back to Luigi just briefly there Luigi has he has seen quite an increase over yes. the last time's tier so he's come up quite a lot. He was a lot lower than that, I think. He was, and of course the update has been kind to him. Uh, indeed, as I said yes, there. Uh, then we see Rob at number 29, yes. and this one's interesting. We see Paliutina at 28. Now, she was right at the bottom of the sack before, but she it was. seems indeed her faster tilts now make her a lot more viable, and actually we had quite some success using her a while ago online. It seems to me if, she, if she's much more of a worthy contender now than she was before. Well, she seems to have been, and we've been playing with Paliutina ourselves uh, recently, have we not? And she's got she's quite a good character. She's not we bad. Think. She has some decent killing power in those smash attacks. Her tilts are much faster now, as I say. She has the auto reticle, which isn't too bad of a projectile. Just above her, then, is Jigglypuff with her nasty aerial combos and, of course, rest. No, most certainly, yes, indeed. Just, just, just. I wanted to just say this about Palutina as well. Palutina, keep an eye on that one because I think it could be coming up in recent months or yes, in the future months. I think so. Yes. Yes, generally, as you say. And then, of course, in at the mid twenties, there we have Mega Man. Oh, Mega Man. Mega Man. And of course, Little Mac. Now, I thought Little Mac 
would be featuring far higher up when they first announced him back in the day before the, the game came out. I uh, thought well. he'd be featuring a little bit better with the Super Punch, etc. But not. To, he seems to be sort of mid-range at the moment. He is very mid-tier. I mean, yes. he was high-tier. He was right up there, ranking very highly because of the sheer power he packed. But I think a lot of people have started to realise that he's not so tough after all, if you know how to counter him. And a lot of the Super Smash Brothers community have been doing just that. They've been learning how to counter him. So exactly. perhaps uh, that's destroyed a lot of his usefulness, I think. Yes, and not, not that good at uh, recovering all, uh, even Little Mac, isn't it? No, no, of course so, not. Yes. Then we've got Ike in at number 24. Ike's seen a healthy boost in recent times because, of course, his essential moves like his forward air have received considerable yes. boosts in terms of speed and positive power too. Ike was always a strong character in Smash Brothers Brawl. I think they did nerf him quite a lot because he was so easy to get kills with, with that devastating forward smash, but yes. uh, it seems he's making something of a resurgence now. Well, yes, it does indeed. Yes, I see. And once again, you're referring to the tweaks that they did there, Nintendo, uh, you know, the, the adjustments they did just a little while ago. And of course, this seems to have played havoc with every player's, uh, you know, characters, hence the tier list as well. Oh, yes. I mean, we're going to be really seeing has. changes, no doubt, all over the place to this tier list. And I, I don't think we're ever going to see a final one. Well, no, indeed. I'm just, just looking at that. The Pikachu. Pikachu has come up a lot since last time. And he's in at 21 now. That's quite 21. an increase. In it's, yeah, it's, it's in, I think, yes, it's quite an increase. Oh, boy. Quite it, an increase. He was certainly nerfed quite a lot back then, but perhaps I'm not entirely sure what the update did to him, but it seems indeed the fans are reckoning him as being somewhat more worthy than he was before. But one character I do know about, in at number 23, she's fallen 13 spots since our last tier list analysis yes. fails. It's Princess Peach. Well, most certainly. Now, you know, what has happened to Peach? Now, Peach ah, I don't know. She was, was top 10 material, old chap. Exactly. If you watched our last one, you'll have seen that Peach was in the top 10, I think. She number was 10. Number 10, I think. But now, knocked and just smacked down to 23. What on earth have those updates done to Peach? Well, indeed. I don't know. Maybe it's the ranges of her smash attacks. Maybe it's her turnips. Maybe it's... Oh, I know what it is. That's right. I remember yes. now, old chap. Yes. It's the turnip cancel. The turnip cancel was removed from the game, and perhaps a lot of fans think, well, this is no good, and perhaps they consider it to have really uh, impacted in a affected her usability, I think. Well, it could be they've just ditched her or whatever. Yes, yes but, indeed. But those turnips have certainly turned sour, haven't they? They've certainly turned oh, sour, right. yes. Okay, so looking now, just going up to the uh, to the, you know, to the 20s and 21s here, we've got uh, 21, we've got Pikachu. Mustn't forget Pit at 22. Now, that's interesting. We have Pit at 22, as you say, old chap, but then at number 20, we've got Dark Pit. Now, these yes. characters are more or less the same. Dark Pit perhaps packing a touch more power, so yes, I suppose it's about right, old chap. I think it's about right. Yes, a little bit of variation there. Nothing special, but both very, very similarly tiered there. Most certainly. Yes, then at number 19, it's the heroine from the future, or heroine from the future, Lucy. Now, it seems to me as if she has another character to have taken quite the tumble here, because yes. last time, when we spoke of the tier list, she was at number 12, now she's fallen to 19. Well, she has, yes. Um, we don't know why. She's taken a little bit of a hit there. Um, once again, could be the changes, who knows? But I think still quite a good character. I think she's Possibly quite worthy of a higher placing than that. Perhaps, especially with her, basically her clone or twin, Marth, in actually at number 12 as of this point. And perhaps a lot yes. of people are saying, well, Marth's got the tipper attack, and so that makes him that much better than Lucina and perhaps they're right there. Yes, she's taken a little hit there since last time, and for sure. And of course, then we've got uh, 17 and 18, uh, Mario and Shulk. Yes, now, that's right. Now, I thought, right. you know, perhaps Mario could be slightly higher tier, but he's not, but never mind. I think that Mario's position, to be honest, is about right, old chap. Nintendo have taken pains to buff him and make him usable. He's mm. got a very handy dash attack. A lot of his moves now have much more priority and power. And yes, he's quite a solid choice, I think. And uh, certainly Shulk there, with his buffs and percentage damage increases in the last update, is worthy of that position also, I think. Most certainly. Now, but if we look at number 15 here, um, I'm surprised this one to be so high, to be honest with you, but you Duck Hunt. Well, indeed, you'd think he was a joke character, but Why he's not. He's so dangerous with that uh, clay pigeon shot he's got with the, uh, the, the what's it called, the, the Hogan's Alley drum move he uses, the barrel yes. attack. He has various range projectiles to really mess he's, up your he's day. He's got a lot of range. That, that might be it, because yes. also I notice he's hardly moved since last time. Not a great move, really. No, he, he has quite a good fan base, I think, there. Quite a lot yes. of people think he's a solid character, and what he does, of course, he plays with the projectiles and then runs in and finishes you off with a smash of some sort, off the hand, just like that. Most certainly, yes, indeed. So that was a duck and number 16 just below him is Fox, who is a good choice in this game, incredible speed, very, very fast, but uh, yes, indeed, it doesn't quite seem the community thinks he's high-tier material, perhaps because his attacks are just a tad too weak, I think. Well, it could be, yes, indeed. Now, just moving then to number 14, we see another character that's taken quite a notable hit yes. to their rankings, and this is, is, of course, Robin. Robin from Fire Emblem, that's yes. right. Last time he was, or she was at number 8, but now the tactician finds themselves at number 14. Now, of course, this 
will undoubtedly be due to the patch update, which nerfed a lot of his smash attacks and various other moves he used to be able to use to kill people. I think he only had one buff, which was to his side smash. The other smashes all took a nasty hit in their power and knockback. They most certainly didn't, as we keep saying it, but these updates have played absolute havoc with the players. They have. The first characters and their moves and style, etc. That's right. So we're just looking at number 13 here, and we've got a chap that's come quite a few places up, and that's Toon Link. Indeed. Toon Link, of course, does find himself in very much a favourable position online with the Four Glories flat stages. He can use his, his uh, bow, his boomerang, his bombs and all sorts to play absolute havoc with the enemy, and he's generally a rather solid choice, always has been, but this time, actually, it's Link that's better than Toon Link, it seems. Yes, very interesting. Yes, as we'll get to shortly. Yes. But certainly 12, we have uh, one that hasn't really moved a lot at all since last time, so fairly stable character there, and quite high tier. Number 12, Marth. Marth has always been a high tier choice, yes, a very solid pick for Smash Brothers players. Um, it seems this time, as I say, they've rated him a lot higher than Lucina, perhaps because he has access to the deadly tipper move, which his sister, as it were, Lucina doesn't. Yes, indeed, that could well be the case. Now, looking at number 11, nearly into the Big Ten now, yes. we've got Ness in at number 11. A deserving spot indeed. Ness's attacks have good, high priority. He always has that devastating uh, PK Thunder um, self-slam move he does, but he shoots off to the side there. Yes. Very dangerous. He has PK Fire, which is particularly useful for combining with a throw, which can also kill people. He's generally a rather dangerous character, and actually he does counter a lot of characters in this game, I think. Well, yes, indeed, most certainly. I think that's something to be noted and keep an eye on him he may go up. Now, n number 10. Who is at number 10? Number well, 10. I mean, just hold on to your seats because this character has taken a rather considerable and notable hit yes. from where they were last time. And that's Greninja. Greninja. Now, why did Greninja take a hit? Well, I'll tell you why, fellows. Once again, it comes back to that nasty update wherein he saw a nerf to some of his powers. For example, he can no longer cancel his down aerial attack into a shadow sneak. Therefore, he incurs landing leg. He also had the removal of his gimp powers with his up B special move, yes. thereby somewhat detracting from his usability. But of course, just because he's not completely broken in those areas anymore, as it were, doesn't mean he's not still a very viable contender. And that's why he's in the number 10 spot still. He has, of course, fallen five places, but still a strong character to choose, I think. Yes, he is. But certainly going from the top five there, just just hanging on just with his little fingernails there to number 10, yes. it's quite a move for that you know, to be caused by the update. Indeed. Now, so looking on the reverse side of it, just flipping the coin of how the update can affect these figures, um, we have another character in at number 9 there who has come up a lot of paces, and that is Link. This chap is a real shooting star for He's yes. seen around about 20 jumps in place since the last tier list. And yes. of course, Link this time is well deserving of that spot. He has so much more power behind his attacks. He's got an excellent dash attack. His projectiles can mess with your head, especially on For Glory. Certainly, this is not the Link we saw in Brawl. He's taken a massive buff. He most certainly has, yes. Whatever they've done, they've wanted, they've wanted to bring Link up. I don't know, perhaps because the new game's coming out soon. Yes. But certainly, they want him up there. And there he is at number nine. Now, number eight, we have... Captain Falcon! Captain Falcon! Yes, indeed. So always, the, is. always the fan favourite, Captain Falcon. He has actually jumped three places since last time. The chaps are really respecting his moves of showing here, it seems. Yes, Captain Falcon, of course, has very, very uh, impressive speed and good power behind his attacks. Once he gets a combo started, it's very hard to stop him. Yes, but, of course, yes. the way to fight him is just to keep him on the back foot. If you can do that, you might get the advantage. He lacks a projectile, but it seems this captain is certainly a force we reckon with online in any case. He most certainly is. Now, I'm just wondering why they never added uh, the little toad to all this stuff. A toad? Yes, I know. It just 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 came to me recently because we've been playing through the Captain Toad um, treasure tracker over on our Chaps Play channel. Yes. And if you haven't seen that, please do go over there, subscribe. We're playing through that at the moment. Absolutely fun. That's fun. I, I was just because we just did one of these uh, yesterday. I think it made me think. Oh, I wonder why they didn't put Toad in well, there. Well, I mean, Peach has got Toad, hasn't she? So. Uh, well, I suppose. Uh, DLC, yeah. perhaps. For DLC, perhaps. Who perhaps knows? He's, he's there for DLC. Maybe. But there we go. So. Um, yes, Moving on. Number eight. Then. Yes. Captain Falcon. Now. Who's in at six and seven? Well, well, at number six, we have Sonic, and at number seven, Lucario. That's right, of course. Now, Lucario hasn't moved a muscle since last time. He has stayed firm at number seven, and of course, he yes. has that deadly aura ability, whereby the more he takes damage, the more punishment he can dish out. So he's certainly always a threat, I think. Indeed, at number six, then, Sonic has actually dropped a couple of places yes. since last time, down to number six from number four, perhaps again because people are working out his move style. It seems many Sonic mains will just uh, at attack with the same spin there, style approach over and over again, but of course once you work out that you need to actually 
shield that, go for the grab, or perhaps interrupt his attack in other ways, it becomes less tough, tough to fight him. What well, could be there? At number five, we have, shall I call her the model, old boy? It's Zero Suit Samus, you know. Yes, most certainly. Now, surprised to see Zero Suit Samus here, because previously Zero Suit was in the top three. She was the bronze placement, in fact, most at number three. So she's taken quite a hit, Piri removed from that top three tier down to number five. Now, I use Zero Suit quite a lot. I think it's quite a good character, uh, Zero yes. Suit Samus, but of course she is very difficult at times to recover from. She can be a bit awkward with recovery now and again. Well, she can be. She has some very good assets, I think, old boy. I mean, of yes. course, her blaster, you know, the, the well, stun gun. Actually, of yes, course, yes, I mean yes. that. Um, and also, I guess I think she was indeed nerfed slightly in the update there. She had various changes made, but yes. also some things that boosted her aerial capabilities. She's always been a very tricky character to learn. She has many advanced techniques well worth looking into and I don't think anyone could argue that she's definitely top five material here. Well, then of look. course in number four, goodness me, the dinosaur's on a roll if you'll pardon the pun. He's yeah. actually increased two places since the last tier list and it's Yoshi of course. Most certainly and I, yes he it is he is indeed there at number four and I think it, you, you might think well it doesn't seem very far to move two places but when you're in those sort of top sevens, eights and things like that movements in that tier uh, they mean something. They're quite huge. A lot. They oh, are yes. big. They're That's bigger right. than going sort of 40 to, to 32 Sort of thing. That's right. It so means yes. a lot more to the top there. So yeah. Yoshi yeah. there obviously benefited by the uh, by the little tweaks that they've been doing yes. and given a little buff in some areas, no doubt. I can't say too much about him because I haven't really played Yoshi much. Well, I mean, I don't think it's so much the changes that were made to Yoshi. I mean, I mean he did lose his egg teleport glitch of sorts, but that mm. wasn't really having any, having any bearing on his standing. I think it's rather what's happened to the other characters, and Yoshi stayed the same, and that's that's given him a bit of a boost, I think. Well, yes, most certainly. So then we move to the big three, the, the big, big three. top three, and in at number three. We have Sheik. Sheik. Yes, I indeed. See. Now, Sheik was at two last time, I think. Yes, indeed. She was at two last time, of course. But this time, she's actually taken the number three spot. Now, in the first Japanese tier list, she was one. In the second tier list, she was number two. And now she's number three. So she's, she's actually slid down the list somewhat in progressive uh, revisions of the list. But in any case, she has some devastating combos. Very good priority on her moves. An excellent aerial game. Not to be messed with at, cl at uh, mid range, I should say. At close range, she's not so good. I think she perhaps maybe evenly matched against Captain Fulton, my main, but in any case, Sheik is certainly not one to be trifled, trifled with, I should say. Most She's certainly. a very powerful contender in Smash Brothers and highly deserving of the number three swap there. Now, Most who's the number two, old chap? Well, just before we look at number two, just looking at Sheik, I think if, you, if you're a thinker, you can see where even with the updates and taking those into account, if you've got a character that's still in the top three as Sheik is, you know this one's pretty sound. Yes, it always a good pick, Sheik, that's right. Most certainly. And this brings us on to number two, another character that fits into that bracket, is of course old Rosalina. She's still there. No, Rosalina. Too. She's actually been knocked off the she, top spot since last has. time. I hate to have to tell you this, fellows, but she's no longer the Queen of Smash. No, she, she isn't. Is. She's just the princess now at number she's two. The princess still at number two, though. But she's still an extremely good character. Her Luma respawn time may have been increased to 12 seconds, but that doesn't mean she's still a fighting force. Or rather, it doesn't mean she's not a fighting force. She's a very, so. very good choice always, especially with the ability of her Luma to keep attacking even when she's down. Exactly. Quite tough to fight, just be careful of her relatively light weight. Most certainly. So if you're a Rosalina fan and you use Rosalina, then you've got a pretty good character there. A now, very good character. But most what's this at the top? He hold on, stop the well, presses. But no, wait, there's something big here, old chap. There most certainly is. There's, there's some big news right here. There is. Now, if you thought you had to hold on to your seat for Grey Ninja that we spoke about and his, what happened to him, you better hang on to your seat as well as strap yourself in and bolt the seat to the floor. If you're wearing a hat, please strap it down. Yes, for this news, because this character has literally come from absolutely nowhere the back over there, Rocky style, straight into number one. Are we looking at the new Rocky here of Smash Brothers? Well, I think we must be because de shall I say it? Uh, does he wear a red hat of some sort? I think he's got a red hat and a peanut gun, and he's straight in at number one. This is none other than Diddy, Diddy Kong. Kong. Why? What? what? Why, why this? Why the new champ? Where did he come from, my old chap? He literally came from absolutely nowhere. One minute he was out there flipping burgers, so to speak, and the next minute he was the champion of the world. He's the heavyweight, I mean the lightweight champion of the Smash Brothers world. I, I just is? don't understand this. Diddy Kong videos. My word, it seems there's been a real enlightening in the community recently with regard to the chimpanzee. Now, of course, he does have an extremely vicious aerial game. His lightning-fast attacks would sometimes put even Fox to shame. He has some excellent options 
actions in the form of his peanut gun and his banana attack, of course, it's still viable even though it was nerfed from Brawl. Yes. This is one character, according to the tier list, that you certainly don't want to be messing with, but just don't think you're going to pick him up straight away. He has a tricky recovery, and some of his combos are somewhat tough to learn, but it seems indeed if you can master this chap, you'll be controlling the new champion of Smash, at least for now. Well, it would seem so. Now, it, to, to come from nowhere like this, we must assume that these updates that they have made have affected Diddy Kong in some way or the other, because they must have done. Yes. Because he's literally come from nowhere. He was mid-30s, and now he is the new champion. There yeah. you have it, fellows. It's absolutely amazing. And as you say, yes, his aerial attacks are, are very, very... You know, they're, they're something to be considered. His combos are deadly. Yes. They are, yes, indeed. So there we are. If you've got the... If you, if you haven't used him before, no doubt you'll all be running out to have a go with him. But as we just said there, I would practice first before you go throwing yourself online. Yes, no monkeying around, please. No, indeed. There you are, unveils the new Super Smash Brothers tier list. That's it. There's our opinions. What are your thoughts? Who are the biggest rises and falls? And more importantly, who belongs in which spot? Now, indeed, don't worry, fellows. If you yes. do use a low-tier character, according to this list, that's absolutely fine. It doesn't mean you can't win. In fact, I make great use of a low-tier character all the time. His name's Gandalf, and I often win with him. So this tier list is just based upon results from the now. That doesn't mean this could change in the future. And, of course, if you do particularly well with the character and start winning tournaments, you might just change the tier list for good. Well, yes, indeed. That's a, that's a good point. Yes, most certainly. And so, of course, no doubt you'll all be very, very interested to see this, just as we are interested and enjoy letting you chaps and chapits know about it. Oh, yes. Very exciting things with these tier lists. And I'm sure we're going to see changes, particularly if they start playing with things with DLC or, or maybe more updates or whatever. But for the moment, the champion of the entire place is Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. I can't wait to see where Mewtwo's going to fit in, old chap. <laughs> this should be very interesting, yes. There you go, then, videos. This has been Game Chat and Birdie, oh, reporting yes. the latest Super Smash Brothers tier list to you. Thank you, guys, for your list. And we look forward to seeing you once more. The next exciting outing, my word. Until then.